welcome back welcome back and welcome back today we're going to do something real simple this is some a scarlet snapper from Omaha steaks thanks pa <laughs> and I've got over here I've got red yellow and orange bell peppers with some red onion we've got some lemon you know how much I love this red lobster seasoning and then we're going to use some uh, extra virgin olive oil this is a real simple meal. Preheat your oven to 350, all right? Let's get this going. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to make this real simple. I'm going to make little pockets with this. I'm using foil. You can use parchment paper. You can use whatever you want to. I'm just going to use my seasoning. Okay, go real simple. We're going to season both sides. This is real easy. I'm not going to do a whole lot to this. I'm not going to add a whole bunch of seasonings. We're going to make this baby real simple. We're going to put in some red onions. I'm going to put a couple of them on here. On each one of them. I'm going to do the same with the yellow. and the, I'm just going to go through the whole thing and do the same thing. I'm going to give each one of them the same thing. I want to mix up my peppers. Put some red over here. And I'm making them big enough because if you don't want to eat them on there, it's nothing to just take them off. That's the reason why I'm using such big pieces because you know I love the smaller ones. But that's why I'm doing it like that. So if you don't want the big pieces in there, that's fine. You can take it out. Do the same thing with the onion. Put a little onion in there. And all those flavors are going to tie in just beautifully. Beautifully. I'm going to give it a little lemon on each one of them. Doesn't matter if it's a little sloppy because we're going to fold this up. We're going to also use some lemon juice. On each one of them. I'm telling you, this is such an easy little recipe. Simple and easy. And we love simple and we love easy. So I'm going to use that whole lemon. I'm just going to use it on all of them and just break it up. And then I'm going to also give it a little bit of the uh, olive oil. And then I'm just going to fold these up. That's it. That's all. That is it. I'm going to give it a little drizzle. See if you can see what I'm doing. Just a little bit. You don't want a whole lot. And you just want to drizzle that on all of them. That's it. You can't see this part, so I'll be right back. I'm going to show you how easy this is. We're just going to flip it up. Close it up just like a little package. Like you're wrapping a little package. Close it up. All up those ends. Let the little steam pocket like this out. So you can see that. Can you see that? So it's kind of like that. But we don't want it that much open. Just enough so that enough steam can come out. All up those ends. Just a little pocket there. And that's all you want. You don't want it to come out too much. Okay? And we're going to do it again. Gonna close it up a little bit. Ball of those ends up. It doesn't have to be pretty. And we just want it to be able to open up like that just a little bit. If we want we don't want her open. That's happening because I'm trying to show it to you. Put that in your spot. for about 25 minutes. That's all she's going to need is about 25 minutes. Doesn't have to be pretty at all. 
and then I take her and put her on a cookie sheet. And this is what I do. And this is how it looks. I'm going to close these up just a little bit more. I want the steam to come out, but I do want her to cook very well. So about 20 minutes, I'll be back. All right. I've opened her up. I wanted you to see what she looks like. And you want an internal temperature in case you don't know of at least 145 and that way you know your fish is done, okay? Alright, you can put her over a bed of rice or eat her just like that. Things made easy with Gigi all day, every day. Everybody be blessed and stay safe. And know that Gigi will definitely see you next time. Bye-bye.